Welcome to Bonkers 2022, when ice cream giant Ben and Jerry's have a view on the government's border policy. They've sent the following tweets this week in objection to the policy of processing asylum applications in Rwanda. Here's what they wrote. Listen up, folks, because we need to talk about Pretty Patel's ugly Rwanda plan and what this means. Most people are kind and compassionate, right? Yet our government's plan to forcibly send people to a country thousands of miles away simply for seeking refuge in the UK is cruel and morally bankrupt. Now, this policy may not be for everyone and it may not work. Who knows? But it's an attempt to break up an evil, evil business model in which gangsters take thousands from desperate people to make this perilous crossing. And it's an attempt to end what is effectively a daily humanitarian crisis. But I don't buy any of this woke posturing from Ben and Jerry's. Let me tell you that corporations don't have a heart. They're not trying to make the world a better place. And they certainly don't care about your well-being, particularly the processed food industry. All they care about is the image of their brand and making money. The problem is that the more money Ben and Jerry's make, the sicker we will get because they sell a product which is comprised of fat and sugar. This calorific insulin spiking slurry is linked with tooth decay, obesity and God knows what else. And if eaten too often, is particularly bad for kids. Taking lectures from junk food giant Ben and Jerry's on human well-being is like taking lectures from Saddam Hussein on human rights. The only thing Ben and Jerry's specialise in is making you fat. Forget about terrorism, war, pollution and climate change. The very greatest threat to humanity in the world today is so-called metabolic disease. Type 2 diabetes, heart disease high blood pressure, obesity, all linked to products like this stuff. It's my view that Ben and Jerry's are entering a rocky road by being so political. The views of any poor co corporation should be vanilla at best, but they've clearly got a chocolate chip on their shoulder. But don't be fooled by this minted corporation who make plenty of cookie dough themselves. For the makers of the famous fish food flavour, all of this is distinctly fishy. This empty virtue signalling nonsense is enough to make you want to eye scream. Now, let's have a taste, shall we? Yuck. That's just the brown stuff. 